Maybe. It's a pensive shot of Matthew McConaughey looking dramatically into the distance. A bold gaze of empowerment. Or it's a garish orange slapped with all caps. There is one thing that these books are designed to make you believe. And that's that they can change your life. Hi, it's Divi G. What does the G stand for? The G stands for getting too hot. How do they do it? How do these books convince you that drinking water is the cure to depression? In the beginning, there was a word. And the word was self-help books and I read a ton of them. And I thought, okay, let's look at that. Let's look at some of the trends out there so that I can help you design your own version. Disclaimer. This video is not that serious and whatever I say is never that deep. So self-help, very broad category. You have spiritual, you have habit and lifestyle, you have mental health, and each of these have their own trends and subtrends. And before we come to the design, I just wanted to share with you a few that I personally found interesting. <laughs> this author just learned how to swear. Main characteristics is a bright and a plain background and a massive sans serif font that just screams. Plagued by the book blog. There is another pandemic in the publishing industry. And there is no immunity. Brights, blobbish designs. We love to see them because we, we have no choice. This is something that I've covered previously. I call these self-help books that are designed specifically for e-commerce. It's designed to be flourished on Instagram. It's designed to be on TikTok. Written in 2001. Note may not actually be written in 2001. So these are the covers for the serious topics. And yes, they look like they were created in the days of Windows XP. And yeah, it's something that probably your university lecturer is going to prescribe to you because they're going to say, you need it for this course. And yeah, probably they wrote it themselves. And then you find out, you know what, you're actually going to torrent it. Why? Because you find out that it's $75.99. Who's going to have that much money when you're a student? Beige. Just page. Just title. Why use imagery at all when you can let the title speak for itself? My personal favorite. Symbolic. So a lot of cover design in general has a lot of symbolism. There is no better place to use it than for self-help, non-fiction, and the like. Just to jazz it up a little bit. Could do it very safe and normal. But I personally like the ones that are very... But I personally like it when designers add a little bit of intrigue or humour. This is the art of noticing. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but I think it's effective. I haven't seen this physically, but it looks like they've debossed the title. So you can kind of barely see it. But you notice the pop of blue. You notice the eyes. So I ask Instagram, follow me, and the YouTube community, subscribe to me. For some self-help book title suggestions, right? And here is just... A few of the golden nuggets. The f of <laughs> Pinocchio's Peril. 573 easy steps to pretending that you're a real boy. Uh, <laughs> How to become an ape again. The science of devolution. <laughs> I challenge you guys to give me some of your best self-help book titles. I thought, all right, let's get designing. Beige. Now, I haven't made a cover video in a hot, taste bud numbing roof of my mouth burning minute. Part of it is my issue with technology. Now this is an in real time version of just what happens every time I try to open Photoshop. And part of it is just the demands of my post the projects I'm doing. So I'm simultaneously having to complete six or seven projects in the next two months. One of them including is my fat dissertation. I know everyone and their mom has read Atomic Habits here. And its message is really just, you know, to build good habits, you have to start small. But when your whole existence is just bad habits, leading to late nights, ending alone, it really feels overwhelming when your deadlines are just feeling like 2007 superhero film based on the animated television series Ben 10. A race against time. I think part of it is like this fear of like, who cares? I need to make new content, but I'm struggling with time, space, capacity, my mental state, everything. Because every time I go on Google Analytics, it tells me like, oh, your video <laughs> suck, do 10 out of 10 and not in a good way. Like here, for example, I was staring at the screen for so long, nothing was coming. And then I said, you know what? It's time to go back to tradition. 
So then I booked a flight to Nepal to run away and dry spices in the sun. To be honest, creativity is something that I've really struggled with, like, my entire life. But reading through all these self-help books, I thought, you know what? Who's writing this? Joanne the Scammer. The Power of Misleading Titles. You want to showcase its grandiosity with a serif font. And to really make sure that you read this thing, you know what, it's going to change my life, add some flex. Add credibility, you know, put all your titles in. MD, PSYD, PhD, MA, MPhil, Master in Science, Master in Technology, Master of the Universe. Ma this is preposterous. And, and, and you always want to add a little bit of photography that really encapsulates the book. And that's how you get people to buy your book so you can tell them things that they already know. Unless you're doing something a bit more absurd or maximalist, I say don't use more than maximum three fonts. Two or one is probably better just to make it look a little bit more professional. You can also use a template just to make sure that you're not going over the margins or anything. Buy my but I think this is the easiest one. Chunky, it's bold, it's brave, it's beautiful. It's a blocky text against a very vibrant background color and basically it. Here I've left aligned it, um, basically to remind you of another <coughs> I call this one the art of bull shy. A guide on blagging your way through life because in my personal experience my early 20s have been exactly uh, that. you know when the imposter syndrome is high and you really have to shut down the inner critic in your voice with the little twirly moustache and rubbing his hands like this <laughs> and a little nice touch is to put permanent printed awards on the cover that the user cannot remove especially if it's advertising real estate take a cover trend and just use it that's a really bad title i need to fix that one i am a pope Four, mix textures, collage type of shit. And I think layering is pretty trendy in the cover design sphere right now. And I wanted to play around a little bit with my own version. Now you can do this with card physically, but I wanted to do it on Photoshop, just use like shadows and like some paper textures to kind of simulate it just cause I find it easier and I'm losing. Mm, and the idea that I was trying to get across for this one is like, this person is someone who's struggling, someone who looks towards self-help books, gurus, YouTube videos, and feels lost. <coughs> so I wanted to get a silhouette of a very generic person, put them upside down, and have lots of layers behind them to really symbolize, you know, what they're overthinking. They're in their head a little bit too much. And with the title, I still wanted that kind of cut out of paper feel to it. Self-help didn't help. Playing around with the positioning. I think the idea was like, I wanted it to be like, like Tetris, like they're all stacked up against each other and they're kind of falling all over the place. Having some sort of white space or empty space around can be quite good. But for some reason, when I looked at it, I was like, mm, it just didn't feel right to me. So to add some distress to poor, I don't know, Ramesh here, um, I added like a torn paper texture in the background. When the self help, no help self. Now it's not that I think that self help books aren't useful but you can't just read a self-help book and expect it to magically cure you Did i you? used blue because i thought it'd be fitting for the whole sadness vibe and i wanted the title to pop so i use orange because it's a contrasting color gotta add that new york times bestseller okay so i'm not trying to get this published or anything but looking back yeah i'm looking at this cover and i think there's so many issues i genuinely don't like the way that this came out i don't know much about typography so the title spacing was a bit weird for me i don't know if it's like the color scheme i don't like the way i don't know maybe the outline of the subtitles or even the author name looks a little bit off shadows or the subtitle but i told myself divya don't put the d and deepen it too much i was like you're deeping it relax i was like divya you just need to make something god Damn. F is not for failure, F is for fun. So these are the covers. What genre should we tackle next? Thank you so much for being patient with my channel and me. Share your creativity with me or maybe have some influence on my next video on my Twitter and Instagram. Follow me for more books, design and bookish design. And sometimes also like social commentary content. Stay out of the sun. Curse the wind and blame the government. It's very hard and if you guys want to hug goodbye or anything, it's... Here's your chance. Sweaty hug, run away, you've still got time. I'm I'm, I'm like a freaking monster coming towards you. Uh. Boop.
Matthew McConaughey. McCon Mc. But look what we've done to the world. What have we done? Suffering. Heat. Despair. Hot damn. Shame on I mean, you know who I am. Of Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Huh?